This is my first time trying to record a tutorial like this. This is mostly for Danny, who uh, is having issues with the magic loop. I, I first off recommend the Woobles video for learning how to do it. There's a lot of different techniques, but that's the one I learned from. So the Woobles will teach you to hold it like this. And you will need to know a couple of very basic crochet uh, terms. That's too loose. Um, some basic crochet terms and uh, techniques in order to do this. So if you're able to look at some videos on how to, for instance, yarn over or make a single crochet stitch, that's where you're going to need to start. But as you saw, I, let me do that one more time here, got the end of the yarn here, looping it around twice around my little finger, then one big one around my pointer finger. This is right-handed, but uh, I can flip the video for left-handed, it's the same. Um, then this string is coming toward you. You kind of pinch it there and pull it off. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And so this is the string on top. And it looks kind of like if you're familiar with um, Egyptian hieroglyphs and like the fake alphabet they teach you. It looks like the letter O, or it might look kind of like a noose. If you let go of this, it's going to fall apart. So next step is to get the crochet hook. Then just yarn over. This is a bit of a little messy one, sorry. I'm not used to having a camera in front of me. And then pull that through the loop and then you can actually let go of this and hold it like so. Then you can just start crocheting any way that you feel comfortable. Um, you can see I also have this little, you know, this was a buck on, Am on eBay. So uh, you're holding it like this, you got your crochet hook, you insert the crochet hook from you, away from you, under these two loops, pull up a loop, pull it through, so now you have two loops on the hook, yarn over, I said yarn over, pull it through, then that's your first crochet stitch in this magic loop. I'm also just pulling this through so it doesn't get tangled. Uh, and then you're going to do however many the pattern calls for. I've noticed normally this is six, so this is one. I'm going to not narrate so that I can actually look at what I'm doing. And this is also kind of an awkward angle for me. Sorry. So that's two, three, and you can see, okay, I messed up here. Um, because I was holding it at a weird angle, um, with the camera in the way, I wound up kind of, instead of having this all in one line, I have a loop like on top. Um, you can tell because it's not following the shape of the loop, it's just making a weird little chunky thing, so I need to undo that one, which is just removing the hook, pulling the yarn, then we're back at number two. And I'm going to try to crane my neck around the camera so that I can actually do this. Alright, so this is... You know, it's also still a little bit chunky. I'm going to start over. And then you'll get to see how I do it again. All right. It's got all tangled up. I'm going to do one more. And then you can see how to do it quickly, I guess. This is very instructive, right? How not to do it. me I can do this most of the time but I will try to keep these mistakes in here also so that you can see how not to do it so I'm back to where I started here's the loop one two three Four, and as you're going, you you should be able to see you're kind of working along this side. Then we're at five, six. And if you start going past, whoops, out of focus. If you are crocheting past this little string, it's not going to work. So this needs to be pretty long. So then it's like, okay, what do I do with this? This is the part that I feel like the guides were not very uh, clear on. So, you know, make this real big and long so you don't lose it. 
and for some reason I always think of this as being intestine shaped. If it's all twisted and stuff, you're like, I don't know what to do with this. What you need to do is look on the side, and the mythical V's, which are kind of, you can see more like heart shapes. These are pretty. I'm kind of flattening it out, looking for this shape right here. So it's kind of like a heart shape. That's the V that everyone always talks about. And what you want to do is turn this so that those V's are all facing out. So you can see all the V's lined up. One, oops, there's one, two, three, four, five. See, I miscounted because I know I did six. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know where the other one is. Hold on. It's hiding. One, two, three, four, five. Correction, as you saw in the video, I did crochet six stitches. But because one of them was really indistinct and hard to see, I wouldn't have been able to crochet into it properly anyway, so I would still say start over. Um, in that case, I would either do an extra stitch, which you're probably not supposed to do. I'm pretty new to crochet. Um, I've done a lot of cool things, but because I didn't count right, I could add an extra stitch. I could try to work at it or something, but usually if at the very beginning you've made a mistake like that, you want to just undo everything. Um, I promise this is just because I'm not used to crocheting from this angle, but uh, making a bunch of mistakes is probably a good thing, right? So I'm just undoing this, undoing the knot, trying to get back to where I was so I can start over. Um, and when you're used to doing this, it will only take, you know, half a minute or so, unless you're under the influence of something or you're doing it from a weird angle, or you're just having an off day. Also, when I'm doing this, a way to keep things from messing up is to keep this bottom part pinched. There we go, one, two, three, Four, five, six. Okay, and you can see these little V's are a little bit more defined. They're not super, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, one tip also is you might struggle to put something, put the crochet hook into this first. Uh, circle. Uh, I would say go up a crochet hook size, at least if you're starting out, or just try to do it a little bit more loosely than usual. So, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. There he is. He's hiding under there. So, again, if it's all twisted or something, if it looks like this, or a lot of times it'll be, you know, twisted all crazy, you've got to try to untwist it and, you know, push it so that You've got all these little heart-shaped V things on the outside. Then, when you pull the string, you're going to actually have to pinch right here, like underneath where the loop is. You're going to get this string here so that you have a good grip. And depending on what kind of yarn you're using, if it's um, not very easy to pull, you might need to actually put some force into it. Um, so... You're pinching this tight. You know, if you just tug it, it's nothing's going to happen. Pinch this tight and pull it. And you might be like, oh no, I don't know what's happening. Um, it can also help if you kind of get this little semicircle thing in place. Then you keep pulling as tight as you can. Then you might be like, oh no, this is only half a circle. I messed up. No, you didn't mess up. Don't worry. you got to put your crochet hook back in. Um, make sure that the working yarn, if you tug on it, then the part that pulls is in front of the crochet hook, which it is, that's good. This is, I think, one of the hardest parts, is just finding that very first V, because it's going to be super tight and a little bit hard to find and then crochet into. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's this little guy hiding here. And sometimes you got to twist it around to be able to see things a little bit more clearly. 
but you can see this last V is kind of on this curve here. And again, I'm going to have to kind of work around the camera here, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you're using the Woobles Easy Peasy yarn or any other beginner yarn or uh, t-shirt yarn, that's going to be a little bit easier to see all the Vs. It's going to be, if you're using this kind of yarn, you might not actually get the entire piece of yarn on the hook on the first try, and it might be a little bit unravelly. Um, I would say if you're, especially if you're just starting and this isn't a huge project that you need to be absolutely perfect, um, if you have like a stray, you know, um, bit of this ply, you know, just keep going. I noticed when I was re-watching the clip that I was a little bit out of bounds up here, um, so I'm going to try this again just to show you where that first stitch is. I'm, on, I'm also going to do this and pull this one loop a little bit longer. So hopefully that'll be easier for both you and me to see. All right, so I just did six of them. Looks like this, what the heck is that? Gotta straighten it out so that it kind of follows that circle. And so that you can see all these beautiful V's. And this one, I made the extra big loop. So hey, it's a little bit easier to see, at least on one side. So you know this string through. Again, keeping this from getting twisted. Making sure it's that half circle. Pulling it more or less as tight as it'll go. Putting this string behind the yarn like I was supposed to. So then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is that sixth one. You can see the big, extra big loop I made there, and then this little itty bitty part that was uh, the part that I didn't pull out uh, to be extra loose. But you should be able to see that's the V. And then it's just a bit of muscle and trying to poke stuff in there. Um, honestly, if you're having trouble, try using a smaller hook size just for this first one and try pulling it extra loose, or just use the smaller hook enough to pull up that loop and then get back to this one. Um, or even just use a, a darning needle or something. You know, in general, you don't want the loops to be too tight, but the first one in the magic circle always seems to be kind of pretty rude. So you can see I'm putting in the right section here. I'm just trying to make sure it comes out in the right spot over here. Again, there's a camera in the way. There we go. And then these are the loops on the hook. This one's kind of crossed over. So that's technically three, but it'll probably just look like two. You got the one there, yarning over, pull through one, single crochet stitch, bada bing, bada boom. And usually, again, what I've noticed with patterns, it seems like a ton of them start with six in the magic loop and then increase so that you have 12 at the end. So you're gonna do that same thing one more time. Find that place in the loop where you put the hook originally. It'll be open a little bit more, so you'll be able to just stick that back in. Yarn over, pull through. And this is again, just a single crochet stitch where there are probably a million other tutorials. So there you go. Then the next one, you can see the little heart-shaped V. Again, you might need to twist it, which I feel like that's something that the guides don't necessarily say. In order to actually see the entire 3D piece, like this is a very easy to see V right here. But this one, you can eventually tilt it and be like, okay, finally I see the V, it's right here and right here. And you don't want to get anything else. You don't want to get that part of the bottom stitch in there. Um, again, if, if you do, it's not a big deal. You might not even notice it in the final piece. Um, so just give it a shot and see what happens. And the more practice, the more you're going to get it. Like right here, you can see I'm missing this little bit of yarn. Um, I could keep pulling it onto the crochet hook. It might look a little bit stringy and sad. Um, or I could just leave it and this part, let's see. Well, this part that the string is coming out of should be the bottom part. 
that's because the string should be back here. So like the par part that's facing away from me right now, that's the inside of the circle. So if you're making a plush, no one will even see that. Um, again, make mistakes. Um, what did Miss Trizzle say? So that's our third. Um, I would probably, you know, I should have put this in <laughs> this little marker thing first, but uh, so I've done three so far, so I know this is the first, second, first, third, second, first. So I will put this hook into this crochet stitch. Again, I promise it's because this weird camera setup. I, I'm usually a little bit more coordinated. Um, not that much more coordinated, but still. So that kind of saves your progress and lets you know this is where the magic loop ended and the stitches started. So we know that we're on three and we should end up with 12 at the end. Um, I also usually use that little, um, the Sally Hansen or whatever little finger thing uh, where you push a button and then it counts up for you so that you know how many stitches you've done in the round. So that's four and we put two in each stitch so far. This is the next one and you can see these are getting a little bit easier to see. So you can see the little heart-shaped V a little bit more clearly. You can see this hole where we're supposed to go into. It's more defined. You don't have to like push your way into it. Then you do single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch. The next one, also a little bit easier to see. Seven. Eight. And again, you can see that we're now making a big old circle. So then we got nine, 10, and remember we're supposed to end up, well not 10 yet, now it's 10. We're supposed to end up with 12 at the end, which is good because we have one more stitch crochet into and we're crocheting into it twice. So this one's probably gonna be the biggest stitch um, just because that's where we I don't know, it's just usually the biggest stitch. So then we crochet into this one. We're doing that twice. So now we should have 12. So counting from the one underneath the stitch marker, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, and this one is 12. Let me see if you can get a good angle. 12, right here. And obviously, like, I shouldn't say obviously, the one on the hook doesn't count, so it's just the ones that actually make a V, like a heart shape that you can see. It's not this little loop. So then we're done with the second round. And then the next round will usually be like, do one crochet stitch, two increase, something like that in order to make it get to be a bigger and bigger circle. Um, but you can see if you have fewer stitches in there or the tighter you pull it, then this little hole in the middle might disappear. Um, if I had done three and then gotten bigger from there, uh, then that would be smaller. But if you do that, you're going to wind up with something pointier. So if you wanted to have like something not pointy, that's just like a very smooth kind of uh, shape and you don't usually get that with the magic circle, then instead of doing six, just skip to 12 and then start from this round. Uh, so. That's my uh, tutorial plus like five different mistakes, which I'm honestly, I'm okay with having left in there. Um, hopefully it's still clear what you're supposed to do, uh, but also some of the issues that you might run into. So yeah, smell you later.